As luck would have it, I live within a reasonable driving distance from the grow location for harrysfrags.com. He has a handful of nice show tanks, but was converting one of these to a frag tank. So he put a post on the forum about selling the live rock out of the tank. It was at a good price, so I picked some up for an upcoming series called Reefing on the Cheap. But I'll talk more about that later. This video's focus is on the mass spawning of starfish that happened almost immediately after putting the rock in my tank and what I believe started the spawning event. It was out of water, although it stayed wet, for about two hours. And when I first put it in my tank, a little bit of sand fell off the rock, uh, but no indications of anything going on. And within about three or four minutes, the water had become cloudy. And I walked over to the tank to see what was going on and I saw hundreds of these little brittle stars and they were all spawning. Now, I apologize for some of the camera work here. It's not the best and probably wasn't the best camera to use, but at the end of the day, I was afraid that the event would end if I fiddled around and tried to get everything set up just perfectly. So I just grabbed the camera that was nearest and I got it on film as best I could. probably noticing a lot of uh, micro bubbles in the water that's not eggs or anything as far as I know once this process was going on my skimmer was going pretty crazy and so I was getting a lot of micro bubbles I probably should have turned the skimmer off and allowed this process to happen the truth is I, I just was afraid to stop filming shut the skimmer off for a couple of hours uh, immediately following the end of this video. This could be in response to a natural phenomenon. Maybe the tide was low and then the tide comes back and these brittle stars spawn at that time. But I've also heard of a phenomenon where certain sea animals will spawn if you stress them to the point that they are convinced that they're about to die. I knew someone who was farming clams and she told me that they used to take giant clams that were sexually mature, place them out in the sun for a while, and when the clam would really begin to show a lot of stress, they would put it back in the water, and once one of them would begin to spawn, all the rest of them would follow. So I think it's entirely possible that this is a very similar situation. As I'm concerned, I think this is one of the reasons we have reef tanks in our home so we can enjoy natural occurrences like this. And I certainly felt lucky enough to catch it and notice it and have a camera handy and have the time to sit down and shoot a quick video. Reefing on the Cheap is a series that is dedicated to success in a reef aquarium without spending a fortune. My 75 gallon build has pretty much all high spec equipment. And it's really easy, I think, to get lost in the idea of showing people how successful you can be if you spend a lot of money and buy the best of the best. But in my opinion, there's a pretty big shortage in people showing success and how it can be achieved with lesser expensive equipment. It was my intention to kick the series off with building the stand and canopy on my own. But because I was lucky enough to catch this event on film and this rock is specifically for the tank that's going to be in that series, I'm going to go ahead and start the series with this video. If you've enjoyed this video, how about a like and a subscribe? And certainly if you want to see when more videos come out about the Reefing on the Cheap series as they're posted, you can also hit the bell.
I also want to give a special thanks to Harry over at harrysfrags.com. This is not a paid endorsement in any way. There's no money exchanged hands here except for me paying him for the live rock. This is more of a thanks for what you do and thanks for selling me live rock that is chocked full of goodies like brittle stars. So until next time, this is Jason with Born Handy bringing you Reefing on the Cheap.